guys if you go through my channel you see that it's been almost over four months since i posted trust me youtube is not for the faint-hearted youtube is not that easy like there's a lot of intentionality there's a lot of leaving your comfort zone you know there's a lot that actually goes into uh you know just sitting down and making videos even vlogging is not that easy like bringing everything together and creating a story so if you're a creator and you're seeing this video i'm saying thumbs up to you so basically i'm just going to be giving us like a life update even though i feel like it's for people doing live updates or making a video about my life lately is for i feel like that topic generally is for people that are already known in the on the social media space like a big youtuber or, or people who already have fans and they are dying to they've missed that and you know all of that but then i feel like i have over 900 subscribers on my channel and they stayed they, they've not unsubscribed that means there's something here that they like and um to think that someone actually sent me a message on ig that hello that it's been a while i saw you on youtube i'm like oh really and then my sister my sister actually called i was like babe don't give up oh, i don't give up you don't know the, the, the video that you do and you know it will like go viral so that kind of encouraged me and a random friend also called i was like hello why anyway, i've not seen you on youtube you've not been creating you know my friends you know reached out and they were concerned <laughs> and i'm like okay maybe i'm actually doing something right yeah and for people on youtube i just feel like it's very important to have like an accountability partner and that actually helps for me i have like i mean she has been on this channel and most of us have met her and that's ty she's also She's a YouTuber too. And then that this video is going to lead me to misconceptions people have about YouTuber. Number one is that you feel like once someone starts a channel, the person is already earning money. I've seen people call me and say, I am a big girl now. You are this, you are earning money on YouTube. You have a YouTube channel. It's not automatic. It's not like once you open or once you start a channel, you automatically start earning income. There's a lot of work that goes into it. And one of the works is that you must have 4,000 watch hours within a year. It's not just that, you must have 1,000 subscribers. And this is, this sounds like, oh, 4,000 watch hours, but it's a big deal. I'm sure some people are watching this video and they know what I'm talking about. It is a big deal. You know, I feel like even getting subscribers is not as hard as I've been 4,000 watch hours. If you want me to start any money on YouTube, then you should subscribe. If you are seeing this video, subscribe, watch my video, share my video, you know, tell your friends to subscribe and let this baby girl start any money on YouTube. <laughs> I'll be very happy. Okay, so my life lately, my life has been interesting, my life has been fun. This past month, there's been a lot of activities, a lot, a lot of activities and to be honest with you guys i've not been vlogging i've not been you know recording all of this moment but what i did is put together all the maybe interesting or not so interesting things that happened to me in this period so just maybe you will enjoy it so first recently i went for scaling and polishing of my teeth I don't have like a full coverage, but I'm going to share clips with you guys. I did scale and polish my teeth, even though I feel like the experience is overrated. Because to be honest, I really don't see any difference. The before and after, I really don't see much difference. The customer care was premium, everything was really nice. It didn't take time and it was nice. Yeah, so what else? I've been going out with my friends, I've been meeting people. I, I discovered you know a few restaurants that actually they're like a go-to for me every time. And one of them is Yellow Chili in GRE Keja. Yellow Chili is really it's it's a restaurant that I recommend anytime, any day. There's just something about their food that is satisfying, you know, the ambience 
you can just sit there all day and you won't even know time has gone it's a place to have like really really nice conversation they are they have spots for everything and to me it's just it's not just about the food it's also about the ambience that's those are the things i look for in the restaurant and i know that for so many people the ambience they is it aesthetic is important even though they be aesthetic i find it difficult to pronounce this word can be it's not all that you know for them it's, it's a place that is really nice another place that my friend and i found out recently is key cafe premium experience premium customer care beautiful space wonderful experience and to be honest good food now we my friend and i had like brunch there that's at the cafe you know we just wanted to meet and talk and jeez you know so we decided to go there and you know the whole experience was worth it so after the brunch you know more like breakfast yeah because we had to the cappuccino we had like um cha it's all kinds of things and then towards the night because we were there all day <laughs> we decided to check out the kitchen and the place is just so warm the place that night i was telling my friend like oh my god this place will be nice for proposal and all of that because it's just really warm the lightning everything was just so good the ambience was just perfect yeah. okay so another fun thing i did was sip and paint now it's something that i've been wanting to do I, and then i think i should say this my friend and i if you check our conversation on instagram it's more about places we plan to go and visit activities we plan to do in year 2023 i am not even joking when you go through our chat she either she's either sending a text to me i'm sending a text to me and said babe we should go here where should we go where we should go and i'm not joking we kept sending we sent from january to <laughs> we did not go anywhere <laughs> we did not go anywhere until recently of course it was like we're just busy some we even fixed it you know maybe next week and then after next week i'm in, on my bed i'm like oh babe it's raining jerry i think i want to rest and she she would say how do you know even me i want to rest and it's just not easy you know that's why when you see on social media i'm being like oh that girl's trip finally you know it's finally done after so many years of planning on that whatsapp group it is not easy planning a trip of course we meet at and you know have conversation and just go back for you know we had plans but then we finally met recently which i mentioned and it was one of the best outings we've ever had it was really nice was, the essence of my talk is there's a lot of intentionality that goes into the things you see you know friends hanging out on social media you'd be like oh my god my friends are hanging out my little so, so, so. it's not that easy you know there's a lot of intentionality that goes out into it yeah so another fun thing i did was um like i said the sip and paint and um it was really nice i enjoyed myself a friend who was like what exactly do you like to do and i'm like ah, i've been looking forward to doing sip and paint. I was like, okay let's do this yeah so you know it was at um, the good beach experience what what is you know i feel like that place is like it's just a place to unwind and express yourself and actually connect with people if you want to depending on the kind of people that are in that gathering is one exciting thing to try yeah i feel like it's even really common now in lagos so sip and paint was like a tr it was thrilling it was a nice experience for me Another thing I did that was actually fun is that, you know, I've been on low courts for a while and this past month I've been doing braids consistently. And to be honest, I feel like I miss splitting my hair. <laughs> I miss making my hair and, you know, the first time I made bread after the low court thing, and people were like, oh my god, oh my god. I'm going to also share clips of my 
in a nicely packed braid style this is the second one yeah i think yeah, this is the second one and maybe when i lose this air again i'm going to do braid <laughs> even though some people still feel like i prefer the low cut i miss your low cut but you know what you really cannot satisfy people you just have to do what you want to do and move on people will adjust i'm going to end this video with something profound that i learned this week i stumbled on a video on instagram and it was more like a confirmation of some of the things we know even as christians the fact that there is no small prayer the video it was Muromolu at Muromolu she's a creator on instagram she has a channel on youtube too it was more like an interview with her and she made this statement there is no small prayer and this is something that i have been practicing this is something that is actually working for me i remember you know one random day i was not even in the best of my mood i was sad i i really cannot say that this is a problem but i know that i was just not in that space like i was not happy at all and then you know coupled with the fact that sometimes i even find it difficult to open my mouth to pray or ask or i feel like i don't even know so that day i just knelt down and i told god and i prayed to god that god i know you know me you see me you know I, you love me i'm aware but can you just show me can you show me and i just said that prayer it, that was all the prayers i that was all the prayer that was all and then i went to bed and for some reasons <laughs> you know god is actually a very very good god and when they say there is no prayer it's actually very true sometimes we say prayers or we say some things i'll be like maybe god did not hear god answers god hears even the little ones the, the seemingly little ones like god hears he, he, he hears them and then the all the following day the whole week the whole month it was just overwhelming i'm like ha ah, i could like the hand of god was evident in my life in everything that i do in all that happened i could feel it i knew it and it was just so calming it was reassuring that you know god sees us he knows us he knows what we are going through and sometimes he just wants us to just come to him and you know have that conversation with him he does but sometimes god wants to want god wants us to come to him in the place of prayer and table let's have discussion let's have father and daughter you know talk you know and yeah another thing i've learned you know is the fact that we should not feel guilty when we pray you know some of us feel like oh my prayer is not enough oh i've sinned i don't even think i'm deserving i don't think god will listen to me all the bad bad things i've done you know maybe not so bad you know or maybe you feel like you've not prayed in a long time and you're like how would i even go to god maybe i've not prayed that is just that we are just deceiving ourselves because we just need to pray right it shouldn't be it's not a function of what we've done or what we've not done let's see prayer as a way of talking to god and i feel like it makes things easier even though we are all learning and growing on this journey like nobody's perfect everybody's you know striving to be and to become all that god has called us to be and that is the joy you know learning and growing and learning in this walk and process with god i think that's it about my spiritual journey and um yeah so that's basically my life lately i love you guys and i'll see you in another video bye